you. I honestly think YouTube kind of happened because I didn't have like a lot of friends. The horrifying mess. Look at those clouds, dude. I've never had this. I'm so excited. It is time to go. He's like over the beach. Hello. We are leaving the beach. I haven't said a formal hello yet, but hello, welcome to the vlog. Everything is covered in sand, but I had so much fun with my friends. I think we had like six or seven of us and all of our kids there. Um, I love my girlfriends. Like we try to do this once every like, 
every couple weeks, usually every other week we do like a breakfast club at somebody's house or we do a walk. Um, lately we've been coming to the beach. So this is just like a nice little cozy cove and I was so happy it was overcast because I'm freckled. Like your girl cannot handle too much sun and the boys don't always keep their hats on too. So I'm super happy it was overcast, but yeah, fills my soul. Like, I like moms will know like having friends is such an important like part of, sorry, I'm going to turn the air on for the kids, but having friends is such an important like part of motherhood. I was saying today we were all talking and like for the first year of having kids, I like never left the house. I like stayed home because of nap schedules, being pregnant with Trey when I like was a first time mom with Bodie. Like obviously I like barely left the house for that. I was on bed rest. And then last year Troy was just such a little baby that I didn't leave much. So now that they're both older and I have all these friends and we've been doing a good job at getting together, I just feel like my social life is so full. I have to make a video. You guys have been asking for eons, but like how to make friends as an adult. I'll make a whole video on it. But I always say like try to get adopted into a friends slash family network with someone who's really extroverted and really likes you um because that's what happened to me like my friend maggie i got um just like adopted by her and she started inviting me to everything so now i have all these friends and it's great so anyways we are gonna head home it's time for troy's nap it's like perfect timing because the sun is starting to come out and like i said your girl cannot handle the sun <laughs> sand out and I know we do makeup get ready with me's constantly by now I probably already posted my total get ready with me to my channel too so I'm not trying to bore you with makeup um but I have to do my makeup because I took a shower from the beach and we have a date tonight and I also haven't talked to you guys much yet in this vlog so I thought we would maybe like multitask and I could get my makeup done while talking to you. I apologize if this type of content is stale. Yeah, so the Lantern Festival we're going to is like a new thing for the zoo. Um, they've never put it on before this year. Hopefully they'll do it again next year and we can take the kids. It's just, it's it'll be light out when we go there because sunset's so late now, but the kids like go to bed right when we would be arriving because the, the zoo's about an hour away. So unfortunately they won't be coming with us, but I think it'll be really nice to have a date night. It's, it probably feels like I go on these date nights all the time, um, but our last date night was in my last vlog. So you guys saw that. <laughs> so yes, we go on a lot of dates, but um, it's not like constantly, it's not even every week, but it might feel like a lot just because I've been vlogging them a lot. So with the dates, like going on dates and stuff, we've just been trying to be more intentional as a couple. Um, like my husband's been extremely busy with work, like a lot of overtime, a lot of like going into work early, coming home late. Um, it's just like that point in his career, you know? So I want to support that for him because it's like exciting, you know, to be doing well at work. And so we, um, he just like doesn't have a lot of time to plan our dates, which he used to do for us. So 
I planned the date and it's like kind of exciting because then I got to choose something I really wanted to do um, anyways and everybody's happy. I think like with this time in our life, being pregnant and having COVID and just like being locked up and stuff for so long, I just have this huge itch. Go out and see things like museums and restaurants and yeah, memories. And I am a homemaker. I love being at home, but being at home pretty much nonstop, Bodhi's whole first year of life and Troy's whole first year of life, Bodhi can go all day without a nap if he needs to. And Troy can go all morning without a nap. I'm like a freed spring chicken. I think that's why I've been going out so much because it's like still kind of novel for us. This summer, we're, we're going to Grant's cousin's wedding in Brooklyn. I'm hopefully gonna vlog it. Um, but I just like, when we're in New York City, I want to go to a museum. Like I have a craving to see some Egyptology. I just like want to go to a museum. I want to see like hieroglyphs. I want to see history. I think it's so important to have mom friends because we, we talk about everything. We talk about like family life, marriage, you know, just like sharing life together. It's really important for me to, for my kids to be like socialized and around other kids. Like I don't want them to just be cooped up at the house or like, or like have a limited social circle. And so I've been putting in a big effort to meet people and to hang out with people. But it was kind of a stretch for me because when I was pregnant with Bodhi, like I only had like one or two friends in town and I had been putting so much effort into YouTube. And like, I honestly think YouTube kind of happened because I was new in town. I didn't have like a lot of friends and I, it's a, it was a small town. Like it's hard to break into small town communities. Like some of you might know that. And so I kind of took to the internet to like meet other homemakers and talk about homemaking. That's when like it all took off. And then I, because it got so popular that first year, I think it was like 2019, I just like kind of put all my focus there and like kind of stopped putting an effort to make friends and meet people. Um, which at the time it was like kind of okay. And then I got pregnant and COVID happened. And that's when I came to realize like, I need to put in more effort to make friends in the area because like it's all fine and dandy if like my husband's my best friend and I hang out with him and I'm happy and I don't have a lot of girlfriends or my girlfriends are back in Canada or they live in other states, but that doesn't benefit my kids. Like I want my kids to have a social life. And so <laughs> when we joined our new church, I just like put in a ton of effort to say yes to every opportunity, like going to mom's groups. Anytime someone wanted to have like a play date, I would say yes. and. I would keep hanging out with people, even if I didn't like totally feel like I clicked with somebody. If you hang out enough times and they're like a good person and you're a good person, like you're going to build a friendship, which is what happened. And so yes, breaking into friendships in a small town is hard because everyone's connected already. But once you're in, it's almost easier because everybody's connected. So yeah, like just this week alone, like last time I vlogged, our play date got canceled because people were sick and then my kids were sick. But this week, I think we've had, we've had two or three play dates and then we had this beach day today. And then this weekend we'll see family on Sunday. So we've seen a lot of like people this week and that's what I tried to do. Like I tried to keep the kids busy. I want to keep them social. I want them to have interactions with other people other than just us. I know a lot of you have been curious about mom friends, how I made friends, how many like, how much I see other people. The answer is I see people a lot, um, but I also put a lot of effort into it. And if you haven't noticed, that's why YouTube took a back seat for a while. I was like really focused on my real life. Making friends with someone takes hours of talking and uh, coordinating and getting to know people. And that was time that previously I had dedicated to online stuff. Yeah, Buddy and Troy, they need a social life. They need friends. Okay, but anyways, that's enough about friends. Tonight we are going on a date and I wanted clean hair because last time I went on a date on a vlog, I like, my hair just felt like super knotted and dirty from that bike ride. So I wanted clean, fresh hair. Um, 
which success, like it's really humid um, out. So we'll see how long this lasts, but I'm gonna fiddle with this. So that'll be interesting. I should have kept just like wasn't in a dress mood so pants little cute cami and then the horrifying mess I'm the worst I feel like I, I've been this I've been this way my entire life like I'm always trying on 17 outfits and I don't know if it's like a symptom of some sort of like anxiety or something like oh if I could only have the perfect outfit then I'd like feel so good about myself and then I'll feel confident and I'll have a good time or if I'm really really excited about something or like filming or trying to get Instagram pictures then it's even more like oh, I really really want to like my outfit which is so silly but at the same time like as a person who likes fashion and as a person who like I don't know my mood just like is affected by how I like what I'm wearing and if I like it or not so this isn't necessarily any like cuter than anything else I tried on but I feel good in it and that ladies and gentlemen is what matters my friends are getting married but I'm just getting by so I'll stay up watching moonrise kingdom when I'm I thought it would be blistering, but because the sun is down. I have so much lantern footage, I'm gonna have too much of it. I am like the perfect person for this because I've been watching vlogs of people going to China and Korea and going to festivals just longingly. I want to do that someday. And this like, just a little bit of a taste of that here in Michigan of all places. crazy eyes because I'm so excited about this. <laughs> That's what hippos do. Silly fool. 
love turtles. There's not much to say other than it's amazing and I'm very happy. Good. Are you feeling a little tired? No, I'm just like... Stinging. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's a good way to, to describe it. We can't talk because we're so, yeah, just taking in all the sights. Yeah. It's beautiful. Everyone here has been lovely. Like. No one's, there's like no brawls. So I feel like sometimes you go to an amusement park at the zoo and there's like people fighting. <laughs> and there's a full moon-ish. Almost full, it's beautiful. Yeah, we were at um, the park the other day and Bodhi saw the moon and he, 
ball. Yes, okay, so he's, yeah. he kept yeah. pointing at the sky and saying, ball, ball, ball. And I was like, what do you mean? So I went to go see where he was pointing and he, was, he saw the moon. He was like letting us know there was a ball in the sky and it was just the moon. Loyalty, dignity, and fearlessness. Friend of a human. What's mine? Happiest animal. Always fed. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> we were reading our zodiacs, and the his is nice. It says the dog is known for the role of the best friend of human, and my, and being loyal and dignity and fearless. And mine is the pig seems to be the happiest animal among others because it is always fed without spending any it effort say, it should say and always well rested <laughs> yes i am always fed and i am always well rested like that is the life he gives me <laughs> because of your dog oh my gosh <laughs> Uh, plushie. Give a handshake. Need I need to go boop a plushie. Oh. Give a handshake. <laughs> See, you understand. All my vlogs lately have had one. This is pretty cute though. There's a whole pyramid of them. I'm gonna stay away from the temptation. <laughs> He already lives with a budgie, a, a budgie plush that showed up on the bed. How do you feel about, how do you feel about the budgie plush? Uh, I didn't know what a budgie was so tonight. <laughs> I've never seen one. You like the one I got from Charles? Mm -hmm. He likes it.
on my way to get my hair cut. But I am still obsessed with my e-bike. Like, they're not sponsoring this video, but I'm still using it because, honestly, I think if anyone out there is an aspiring influencer who watches my channel, that is the best advice I could give you. You guys know I like barely do sponsorships. If you take a sponsorship, do it for something that you really love, um, that you're really gonna use, that benefits you, that benefits your audience. So yes, still using my e-bike. I did not film most of the morning because I was cuddling baby Troy. We had a bath together. We were just having mama Troy, Bodhi time. Grant got up with the boys. I got to sleep in like total lazy Saturday, which was awesome. Um, and before the haircut, I just, yeah, I love riding my e-bike. So I'm gonna go bike past some of the places in town. Like, I just really, like, I don't know if I'm nosy or snoopy or I just like architecture or what it is, but I just love to bike past and walk past beautiful homes. I like to see what the neighborhood and the town is up to. I also managed to fit a freezer bag in my Michael Kors purse. So I'm going to try to get milk, whole milk for the boys after my haircut. We will see how I can strap it to the bike. Okay, safe and sound on the bike trail now. The bike trail is amazing. It's something that runs kind of along Lake Michigan, like hitting a bunch of towns all up the coast. And it's just like a nice little safe haven to ride your bike or walk your stroller where you know you're not gonna get hit by a car. Like I'm covered on both sides. So it's pretty sweet. Like I think, yeah, I was saying in my other vlog because of the style of our town, it just totally makes sense to ride bikes everywhere. So anyways, yeah, hubby's with the kids, like bless him. He does such a good job, like we both do, you know? I watch the kids extra so he can do jujitsu, go into work early, like get stuff done or like do stuff with friends. And then he watches the kids so I can like go to a coffee shop or get my hair cut or whatever. And yeah, I just, I love him. <laughs> if you couldn't tell, our date was so fun. I'm still dreaming of lanterns, like, I wish I was a little bit more aggressive in getting like some good pictures for my Instagram, but like you guys might not know this about me, but I am so shy. So <laughs> I'll get like, I'll like go to pose and I pose for like 0.2 seconds and it feels like an eternity. And then I get all shy and I'm like, thanks for recording me. And I just like take the phone back. Like I just have such a hard time standing there and posing. So my next task is to get more comfortable with posing. It's like going on a walk, but for me going on a bike ride, I get going. And then even if I'm feeling kind of tired or I'm feeling kind of glum, it's like my mood just goes from like, to <laughs> love and life. Stay. Another minute, let me hold you You might be late for work, that's okay Day Every day I get to know you And all your flaws and nothing to change I love it when you wake up Freckles with no makeup I just wanna take up All your time and stay put Humor mixed with perfume Takes over the Anybody else there? Is there anybody else like you? Anybody else like you? I think I found it. <laughs>
good job. Proof that I did it. You had a trim. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, look at that little butt. Goodbye. I'm the worst. I'm like, why is my hair tangled all the time? And then I ride a bike without a hair tie. <laughs> I'm off to get some milk. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> If you don't like it, you can trade back. <laughs> It is thundering outside. I, I wish I could like put the microphone up to the sky so you guys could hear. Our town desperately needed rain. Um, so I'm kind of excited for this like cozy atmosphere. I'm gonna have a K-drama going for myself. I'm going to bake with you guys. And the recipe is Bavarian pretzels. Now, if you watched my Charleston vlog, you might've noticed we ordered pretzels two times. I have a bit of a pretzel obsession. When I was pregnant with Bodhi, I used to eat a lot of pretzels and I love a soft pretzel, but I've 
never made it. And I randomly said to Maggie, the girl who cut my hair, is this vlog Maggie themed? Because I kind of feel at this point it is. She was at the beach. <laughs> she cut my hair. And now we're making a recipe that she recommended to me. Pretzels are not really a dinner food. They're not really a breakfast food. They're not really a dessert. So I know it can be like a little tough to know like what to make them for, when to make them for, but they're honestly a very good like late night snack, movie night snack. If you have like a Super Bowl party or like an after church kind of like football game or something, um, taking them on a picnic, taking them to the beach, taking them on a boat. Like I think you can bring a soft pretzel anywhere, but I don't think also anyone's going to be sad if you show up um, to like a dinner party or something. And for an appetizer, you brought some soft pretzel. It's really good. 
And I haven't even brushed them with butter, which I need to do. What'd you make? <laughs> if we could run it, if we could run it back, and do you wonder? If we could run it back, if we could run it, if we could run it back, and do you wonder? All of the things I didn't know I had to get out down the road Inside of the same old, the same old Caught in the circles where they go It's hard when you keep close Rewind with my eyes closed
Good morning. Hi. Good morning. <laughs> and he's doing like some errands and he's bringing Bodhi with him. So I have a quiet bit of time at home and I just thought I would share a little bit of thoughts I have with you guys. I've been trying to think about like what is the theme of this summer vlog? Like what do I want to leave you guys with? Um, because we've done a lot of activities like pretzels, haircut, lanterns. There's been a lot going on. Um, but I always want to leave you with a little bit of interaction, connection, um, and my thoughts and what I'm kind of feeling and thinking lately. So in church today, worshiping the Lord, thinking about you guys, you know, I know that not all of you are believers, but I hope that you can feel blessed and encouraged still watching my content. I just want you guys to go into this summer because my focus for this summer is to just really live in the here and the now and live in the present and kind of squeeze the most out of life that, that I can and just walk in contentment and gratitude, peace, joy. The fruits of the spirit really color and illustrate so much of what I desire for all of you and what I desire for my own life. What a wonderful basket of beauty that would be to, to feel and have those fruits in us like every single day. And I was thinking in church, you know, how have I been grasping onto, you know, mental and emotional contentment and peace lately? Because I truly feel like the happiest I've ever felt, like in my life, <laughs> like the most at peace. You know, I turned 28 in um, April and I just feel totally just in the right place at the right time with the right season and just so fulfilled. And I know a lot of that is because of you guys, you know, my journey on YouTube, I'm just so beyond grateful. And I just wanted to thank you guys for being here. I know I've said it a lot, but I don't really think that you can thank someone um, enough times, especially, I don't know if you guys realize what you've done for me over these years, but having a space to be creative online, having a way to express myself, to connect with other people, it's just brought me into this new season of feeling so confident um, and joyful and you guys c interacting with me watching the like my videos and you know giving your feedback and just sharing your own lives or saying how like my life has blessed you it, it's very it's like really encouraged me to continue with um, my lifestyle you know being a homemaker encouraging stay-at-home moms encouraging stay-at-home wives and and just also encouraging women in general and I just want to like empower all of you you know my 
purpose of my content isn't to get you all to be homemakers. And I've said this so many times, it's not to get you all to be elegant. It's not get, to get you all to like leave your careers or whatever. The purpose of my content is to encourage you, to encourage you as you walk through this life, to know that if you have desires to be a homemaker, you're not alone. If you have some like beliefs or if you feel religious and the world is increasingly feeling like irreligious, you're not alone. But also to the people who are different from me, you are welcome here. You are loved. You know, I, I want you to feel empowered as well as we walk forward in life to chase after beauty and to celebrate life and to like approach life in a way where we can have mental and emotional peace. And I know for a lot of Christians, a lot of homemakers, um, the world has felt really like chaotic and haywire. But I honestly think for everybody over the past few years, like with lockdown and all this crazy stuff, the world has felt chaotic. And so I just want to reiterate to everyone watching my channel, homemaker or not, religious or not, I want you to feel peace here. I want you to, in your own life, feel inspired. And, and once you click off this video, to go like live your life in a way where you are chasing that peace, where you feel empowered and comforted. Um, just knowing that there's some, like a whole group of people out there who also value like, beauty and goodness and chasing excellence too you know i that's what i want out of my channels all of my content can be useful to anybody regardless of whether or not you ever plan on or want to be a homemaker i love reading in the comments when there is like some of you who are just living a, a life completely different from anything i could ever dream of um and you still like coming here because that's how i feel i follow people online who are like traveling the world all the time and they're single or they have like 10 kids or they have like no kids or they they have this bustling career or whatever i love following people from different walks of life because i i think that's how god made things you know we're not all going to live the same life so just to reiterate as i always do i'm grateful for all of you this is not content just for homemakers it's not content intending to create you all into homemakers Instead, we're just here on this channel to appreciate life, to appreciate femininity, just to, to discover what life has to offer to like for us, you know? And I have been so happy lately and walking in contentment, walking in gratitude, walking in just appreciating where God has me right now. And a lot of that is just by my daily routine. And I wanted to share that with you guys, you know? Getting outside has been so good for me. Eating healthier has been so good for me. Taking time to do my hobbies again, sewing, writing, baking, cooking, like biking, you know, hanging out with friends. My life just feels really, really full. And so as we walk into the summer, I just really want to encourage you guys to seek peace, pursue peace. Um, something I've done too is just distance myself. I've muted stuff on Instagram. I've like stayed away from the news, stayed away from like just hard hitting topics. I find it kind of stressful. That's that's just not where I'm at in my life right now. I'm seeking out just a quieter way of life that there's a verse about living, encouraging Christians to live quietly in the land, like to live your lives quietly, you know, serving the Lord, serving others, loving your neighbor. And that's really my biggest desire right now. It says also in scripture, mothers love your children. And so my focus right now is loving my children, serving my neighbor and just living quietly in the land. And for me, that means, you know, minding my own world and, and not being ignorant to what's going on in the world, but just protecting my mental and emotional peace. And I think as a mom, that's also extra important because you have two or three or four little ones feeding off of your emotions. And even if you're not a mom, I, I really think that that cycle that we can get into in our heads, you know, reading so much news and feeling bogged down, it can, it can be a lot. So I just encourage you guys as we go into the summer, we don't need to be ignorant, but maybe just like a little less news, a little less like rage bait, like commentary, a little less like intensity with those kind of things and more sunshine, more hobbies, more working with our hands, more music and laughter and making beautiful things and feeling beautiful. That's where I'm at right now. And I would love to hear in the comment section what you guys are doing this summer, this season of your life to just step into joy and laughter and happiness and, and what hobbies are you doing and, and what's just making you smile lately. But it's okay to indulge in things that aren't always like so serious 
serious all the time. So that's my little word of encouragement. I hope you guys are having a really good summer, but I'm gonna go enjoy the rest of this nap time.